Hey guys, it's Bram and Rock. And you're watching Bram and Rock TV. She cute or whatever. Marvelous. Good morning. Beautiful. I hope you guys enjoyed my new intro. I work so hard on it. Thank you so much for Disney for inspiring that introduction, by the way. And to be honest with you, I have some Disney things that I can't even really talk about right now. But let's just say... Let's just say. As you guys could probably already read from the title, you guys already know I am getting ready for my very first Zoom date after a hot minute. I just thought I would document this and maybe share with you guys how to get ready for a Zoom date. But before I do, I just wanna say thank you so much to Crest for sponsoring this video. I've always used Crest. And so I just feel like it's so cute and so surreal to be working with Crest for this video. And like I said, I hope you guys enjoy this video. Let's get ready for this marvelous date. All right, you guys. So for the very first step, you obviously have to be clean. And so I guess it goes, it just goes without saying. It shouldn't be even be a part of this routine. Shower, please shower. Like y'all stink. All right, you guys, I am finally out of the shower and now it's time to do the rest of my routine. I already washed my face in the shower, and so we're just gonna get right ahead and brush our teeth. We're gonna be using the Crest 3D White. I've been using this since, I don't even know, since I was like in elementary school. And we're just gonna brush our teeth. Make sure you brush everywhere, girl. Ding! Ew! Ding! <laughs> Put up um, sparkle emo, like, let it so. Ding! So like I said, this video is sponsored by Crest. So the product that we are featuring today is the Crest Whitening Emotions. This is the first of its kind product and it has five times more active hydrogen peroxide realness. What does that mean, you ask? It means that she is not your average girl. She is not a toothpaste and she is definitely not your average whitening gel that lasts literally five seconds on your teeth. This creates a micro thin layer of concentrated peroxide on your teeth, which means that it lasts 10 times longer than your average whitening gel. And she is also not like a strip where it gets uncomfortable and like the taste just lingers in your mouth. She actually tastes very refreshing and you know, she lasts longer and we love people that so once you unpackage them, this is what the products look like. And this is basically what you're going to use to apply it on your teeth. And this is obviously the product. I love this color of blue, by the way. Now back to me. So basically, you are going to give the product a nice good squeeze. This much should be more than enough for the top part of your teeth. Now you're going to smile really big and you're going to apply this. And you're basically going to wipe across or you guys can do it per teeth but I just think that swiping across is so much easier I love the applicator because you can really get into the nitty gritties and really get into the grooves and bits of your mouth and just like that we are whitening our teeth at the top already now I'm gonna do the bottom teeth so generous product and shape. All right, you guys, now that my teeth is whitening, it's time to do my hair. I love the conveniency of this product because you can really use it as many times as you want in the day because it is actually not going to make your teeth sensitive. I've even used this like five times in one day before just because I'm that kind of crazy person. But now I'm going to go do my hair while I whiten my teeth. See you on the other side. I've never really got asked this much for a hair tutorial and it's so funny because girls are usually the one to ask me for hair tutorials as if they have the same hair as me but I'm just gonna do it for you guys. I start off by blow drying my hair down like this because we're doing the bangs look today. We're doing the bangs so blow dry down. Period. Now we're gonna take a cute little curling iron. 
get it as thin as possible as you want because your curls would be your curls or your waves would be tighter. Basically, you're gonna want to section your hair off with starting with the back. It just helps you like organize your hair better and so that you're not just like grabbing random pieces of hair. Like it looks intentional, you know? And now this part gets really boring, so I'm not gonna put you through it. You're just going to grab a piece of your hair like as little as you can, like this much. And you're going to just curl them forward. And then the ones that grow in the back, you see how it's like still growing? There's, I have hair here as well. You're going to want to curl those hair back, like down to where they, oh, they grow. <sighs> Water break. I usually get shorter in the back, usually from like three to four inches, and then I go really long from the top, just because it's easier to style that way, and it makes it easier if you guys have something like this. Part your hairs to grab pieces out. As you can see, my hair is longer up here now, and you're just going to do the same thing towards your face, and it should just like curl by itself. So this is the before of my hair. This is the after of my hair, but we're not done yet. I'm actually like just letting it really air dry and really take its shape. But for the most part, this is what it looks like before I add any products in it. This is also the perfect time to start my makeup while I'm waiting for my hair to get dry. And I know y'all want to see my everyday makeup routine. So let's go. All right, girls, we are going to do my makeup. All right, so I guess I'm just going to start off with my moisturizer. Girl, I have a pimple there right now, but it's okay because makeup. My number one tip with makeup before you start, the best primer is self-confidence. Look at yourself in the mirror. Tell yourself. You're beautiful. You're that beautiful. You are so beautiful. No one looks like you in this industry. You are in people's mood boards when they're getting their nose done, Bretman. People want this thick, voluptuous nose of yours. Start off by brushing off my hair, my eyebrow hair. I did perm my eyebrows, and so it's so easy for them to just, you know, go wherever I want them to go because they're permalicious definition boys to make local. Um, and now we're gonna start off. Gobble me, swallow me, drip down his enemy. Quick jump pop for you, let it get inside of me. I'm also burning some. Before I start, okay, never mind. Beautiful. We're gonna add some illuminating drops onto the sides of our face. Maybe a little bit over here as well, just cause. Oh, wait, I meant right here. My number one tip for doing your makeup, especially on Zoom dates or like honestly, if you're just FaceTiming someone, is to obviously look like yourself. Try to do as minimal makeup, like very like no makeup makeup look. You do not need to be serving no dramatic look for Zoom dates, cause sweetie, if he don't want you with your no makeup makeup look, then he don't deserve you with your full glam look, okay? So don't give them all of that right away, okay? Okay, you, you hear me because beautiful. you know, you understand what I'm trying to say. Now time for a foundation. Try to find a foundation that is very light, that literally is like medium to almost full coverage if you want to. And so really just get your um, foundation in and get it as close to your skin tone as possible, ladies. So you don't have to try much. Y'all hear that? That's my stomach. Gobble me, swallow me. Do you know your Megan, baby? Now time for a concealer, ladies. I don't know, and I'm so sorry for lying to you guys back in 2015. You really don't need to wear that much concealer, sweetie. Like, just this much is okay. So as you can see, she's very just enough. Now time for blush. We're using liquid blush, and I know that is such a weird place to put blush, but girl, when I tell you how cute it's going to look, it's going to look cute. So, just trust me. I will never make you ugly. Literally. That's literally the last thing I would do to you. Because I can't make you something you already are. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. You're pretty. Blush on the nose is a flex. Blush on the temples is a flex. See, I already look so innocent. And I love blush. Try to wear blush on dates because, girl, 
if you stay blushing, you don't gotta get blushing, you know? So you can really trick the guy into thinking you're blushing for him, you know? He's really out here with his dumb thinking like, Oh my gosh, she's blushing and you're really like, no. Beautiful. It's just some rare beauty blush you're looking at, okay? Now we're going to powder our face. And when I use powder, girl, do not bake. Do not. Like, literally, don't do that. Don't. Because sometimes, girl, that does more harm than good. Like, just pack up your brush. I mean, pack up your beauty blender and pound the powder. You know? You know? Period. Calm down. You need to calm down. Beautiful. Now time to contour slash bronze up the face. I usually start right here. And brush out. I look good, huh? I look good. I look good. The whole time you're doing your makeup, you should always be saying that to your head. Beautiful. I look good. Are you beautiful? Look like me. Are you beautiful? Look like me. Wanna be in the man? Can't cook like me. Wanna run up in the lab? Ain't cook like me. But ain't ning good like me. Cause ex wanna so fight me. They so beautiful. Was to slice me. I also like to drag it on my nose because it gives me just like that sun kiss look. And I actually learned that from Sam Visor. Shout out to Mr. Sam. I love you. Now I just wanna take a brush like this. Find a brush like this. And we're gonna use the same bronzer. And honestly, we're just gonna apply that onto our lids. Now we're gonna use a waterproof lash mascara. I like to use waterproof because if I'm wearing... Oh my god. Anyways, um, I, I can, that's actually perfect to give you guys a tip on how to handle mascara getting onto your skin. Um, but I like to use waterproof because I sweat so much and sometimes my eyelids sweat Sometimes the bottom of my lids sweat and so it's perfect and it holds like the curl longer This is how I like to get rid of it a q-tip make sure it's dry and the powder that was um, That I was applying and we're just going to swipe swipe girl Period Period like nothing even happened Alright you guys, so like I said, waterproof mascaras hold curls so much easier. So we're just gonna curl our lashes. Ooh. Ah, yes, I look good. Period. Wow, I look so good. I hate it. Alright you guys, this is the final look. And we're just gonna finish off with a pH lip balm. So we're done with the makeup and your hair should probably be done getting hard by now. We're just gonna take a hair wax and we're going to lightly um, tap it into our hair. And what I mean by that is like, literally like this. Like you do not wanna lose like your curls, but you're going to just apply it kind of like that. And you can set like intentional curls where it's like this. Or you could just make it messy. I kind of like the messy look sometimes. So I like to do like this kind of technique where it's like and as you can see my hair is literally getting thicker by the minute don't forget the back and we're ready all right you guys this is my final look we're about 20 minutes until my first zoom date and so i just wanted to make sure that my surroundings is nice because sweetie if you're gonna go on a zoom date and you're looking cute you know everything is put together hair laid makeup beat but your bed is not made, that's an automatic red light. And that's also a tip for you guys too. If you guys are FaceTiming a boy and they're looking cute but their background is a mess, go, you gotta go. Marvelous can go. Beautiful. You gotta go because that's a sign. So yeah, I'm gonna clean up my bed and um, I don't really know why you guys think I'm going to clean my bed because Kiefer! That was your cute. Well, I'm gonna clean my bed as well, but Kiefer will be helping me as well. So Kiefer, make this bed. <laughs> what is this for? It's for me filming, basically getting ready for a Zoom date. A date? Yeah, girl, she's on a date. Also, a good tip, have your mindset ready. Like, have your standards ready, ladies, because girl, these men ain't Dead. sugar. What kind of guys are you looking for? Um, you know, honestly, right now, I just got out of a relationship, so I'm really just seeing what's out there. You know, just seeing, just window shopping. I don't got my credit card on me, so. 
She's just window shopping. She said, let me go. All right, you guys, my makeup is done and we are ready to FaceTime my man. And yes, his name is Drew. Hey, girl. Hi. Pause. Did you really think I was gonna talk to my man? No, girl. I'm gonna be talking to my man a jerk. Because all 2020, we're gonna be focusing on ourselves and ourselves only. But if you're really here for Zoom tips, make sure that when you guys are actually on your actual date, you guys try out the apply and go crest whitening emotion because it already comes with the tip applicator. And we love a tip applicator. Now back to my business. <laughs> she f all right, you guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I had... All right, you guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much again to Miss Crest for sponsoring this video. And if there's one thing that you guys should take away from this video is that no man would ever deserve you, period. Because you deserve so much more than anyone and anything but yourself, love. If that made any sense. If they don't, if they didn't love you at your yellow teeth, they ain't go, don't deserve you with your white teeth. So yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, follow me on all my social media. Everything is at BretmanRockTwitter.com slash BretmanRock. Instagram at BretmanRock. And of course, YouTube at BretmanRock. And beautiful. You're already right here. You might as well subscribe. I've also been TikToking. So if you guys want to watch me doing some, wait, TikToks? Then follow me on TikTok. Like I said, everything is at Bretman Rock. I love you guys, and I will see you guys on my next video. Bye. Look at my feet.